they rip us from what for what they have then at the end of the day they come and sit down and act like they did us a favor yo what's up it's your boy cardinal beats and as always the guy in the black cap and if you know be the role now you know that that charlie fresh boy fucking they did a runa go go there yeah so today we have cardinero coming to the story of lumumba featuring block jones let me make one thing clear if you're not hot enough you don't feature on behind bars if anybody features on behind by that means the person is hot enough so if you didn't agree with my verdict I understand you have your own reservations about things but to me Cardinero is hot enough that's why we still feature him here you get it you have to understand that if you haven't subscribed click the red button notification button so that you get notified anytime I release a video share like and subscribe you know so I'm gonna enjoy this, we're gonna enjoy this. Protect the title. Oh, check like now, start them already. Now they enjoy I'm before you. I'm sorry. Let's all enjoy it together. Yeah. Rest in peace to yeah. Patricia yeah. Lumumba. Yeah. Straight up. Come on, Sankara, Shep, you Vera Bob Marley. No doubt. Huh? Yeah, whatever they do, never worry us. Got from the bloodline of warriors. He's so marvelous. Let's look at the site. Tight boss, protect the title. They stole all our riches, give us the Bible. Yeah, I want us to focus on that side. Whatever they do, never worry us. Cow from the bloodline of warriors is so marvelous. Lyrical bars protect the title. They gave, they took our riches and gave us the Bible. Charlie, see the see the rhythm, like see the rhyme for there. Don't flow, but let's focus on the story. You get it. This story really opened my eyes, and as, as an African, I I big up Cardinero for that. If you haven't listened to this, listen to the lyrics carefully, and you you know you know what i'm talking about so we as africans we are warriors charlie every day we fight every day we they fight the hustle alone will not be easy over here you know it's not easy to make it over here you get it we are like that be that be wanna fight with they do every single day to survive and the funny part is when the colonial masters came they gave us the bible and took our gold away we never questioned it up to today we still don't question it we still mentally slaved in religion, leaving our spirituality behind, focusing on pastors and all that. I'm not here to to to, to show you, tell you what to do. You get it. You 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 like I said, you have your reservations about things, but just open your eyes. You get it. That's what Cardinal is trying to preach here. It's not all about religion. It's about spirituality. A Muslim and a Christian can't come together to do something because of their religious beliefs. No, Charlie. That time it passed. It passed. It passed as Africans. We need to really open our eyes. And trust me, Cardinal did justice to this shit. Let's continue. Blood is survival, but we're still going strong. Survival of the fittest, where the king come from. I'm still in the turf, rocking with an empty pocket. Say xenophobia, self hate, man. We need to stop it. They're trying to make it toxic, like they did to Lumumba. You see, phobia of, it's phobia or self hate. Sorry, I think something entered my eye. Phobia or self hate. We need to stop it. Actually, Africans, one thing we suffer a lot here is self-hate. You're trying to do something to succeed, your brother is trying to bring you down. Sometimes I see it in the comments, but I just like overlook it because it's really not necessary. Someone can just come and say that, Charlie, you're not good in this analysis shit. Fine. People also like it, that's why they subscribe. And I beg up my subscribers for that. That self-hate thing, we need to stop it because we're trying to build something. If you, you as an African is trying to build something, Someone can just bring you down. That bring him down mentality. We need to stop it. That is the reason why we're not moving forward. As, uh, we're not moving forward as Africans. Charlie, if I found but I mean, you know, this will be one take thing. If I bah, just laugh about it and let's move on. <laughs> we need to stop it. Until we come together as one. We're not going anywhere. Respect to Cardinero again. Respect to Cardinero again. Let's go on. Because Lumu, you see the story of Lumumba, yeah. I think you guys should like go to YouTube, type the story of Lumumba, and really listen to it. The guy really did nothing wrong. He just gave a speech to empower his people, and that's what the whites never liked. Or let me not even say why. That's why the colonial masters never liked, and he was killed for that. Just his voice killed him. So that means. When we get up and we, we raise our voice for positivity, it can change a lot. Charlie, let me not bore you with this speech. Let's continue. 
Eradicate my heroes, now wait till left for Duba With nothing else to offer Hey yo, they took him into isolation Propaganda to the masses, fool the congregation Lock him up and throw the key with no medication Next day, they faced the firing squad So much pain on Patrice, he was hollering God They did the same to Sankara Robert Nesfamali, all the legends face Wahala See, I saw the flow, eh I'm really feeling I mean, sorry for not stopping it and analyzing. I'm really feeling the flow over here. Like the rhyme, the rhyme alone took him into isolation without medication. After the second day, he faced a firing squad. But Charlie, it was hollering God. <laughs> See, let, let, let's come to the lessons in that, right? Let's come to the lessons in that. So, what happened to Lumumba was he was arrested. And he was, when they brought him back to Congo, he was arrested and, um, yeah, he was put in jail. Then I think after the next day, he faced the firing squad where they, he was assass assassinated. Same thing happened to Sankara. Same thing happened to um, Steve Biko. We need to ask ourselves one question. Why is it that any activist that raises his voice against the colonial masters in those times get killed? Forget about the colonialism in that time. Even in today, you as an African, if you raise your voice against our people out there, you get assassinated. Have you, have, have you ever asked yourself that question? Like, why? Because I think we have something here that they don't want us to become one as a people. Because we have all the resources. We have all the talents. We, we See, we get everything for it. I don't know what, as an African, we not get. But because of the bad bite, see, if it wasn't for a fellow African, Lumumba would not be killed. That's what we need to understand. Lumumba would not be killed if it wasn't for his fellow black men that gave him out. That's what we do every single day. Snitch on our niggas. I'm not, I'm not here to promote, like, um, fraudulent activities and all those shit. You get it? There are legit ways of making money. But until we become one as a people, we're not going anywhere. And that is what I'm going to preach on this thing now to Charlie. We, we Stop that self-hate. Stop that backbiting. Stop all those shit. <laughs> stop it. Now the country wants to dry up, man. Yeah, fever like Sahara. Then the continent is drying up. It's like the Sahara. Because right now, all our wealth is being taken away. Right now, if you come to Ghana, the gold, I don't even know if there's still some to be mined. I know they're still mining some, but then again, it's not like before. And we sell it so cheap, and we go out there and buy jewelry so expensive. Like, what the fuck? What, what are we doing? Sorry for cussing, but what, what are we doing to ourselves? Like, ask yourself that question. I think we, 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 don't, we don't really ask ourselves that question enough. So for that matter, we don't try and find answers to our situation. Because, frankly speaking, majority is poor. We poor as Af Africans. But we can do a lot. You and I, when we come together, we can do a lot. Our vo see, Ga see Gaddafi. If they, in this recent time, see, see Gaddafi. Raising his voice against them. He was killed. And the CIA is always involved in this shit. You get it? I don't know if I'll, I'll get a copy. So I don't think copyright, but maybe my channel may be in, in trouble for this. But I don't really care. You have another base. I just tell you my mind. Let's go on. Then they left us with Palava. Sin too painful with a luna. All my people struggling from Britain to Kaduna. They love my niggas like Natuna. I read the story of the Luna. See, man, <laughs> this track, eh, this track, eh, you should stream the full thing uninterrupted on uh, Cardinero's channel. Uninterrupted, like, big ass, man, <laughs> big ass, man. The hook alone, eh, be spiritual. You need to soak it in to understand it, you get it. Another one gone, yes, another one gone. Focus on the focus on the last line. Another one gone, 
but yet another one born. What is he trying to talk about? Yeah, Lumumba, Kwame Nkrumah, Sankara, Steve Biko, they've been assassinated. Fine. But we are here today as Africans. Another one born. Who was born? You and I. We need to change the narrative, man. We need to stand up and do something. The little I can do as me, as Cardinal Beaters, I'm a producer. If probably you didn't know, I just don't react. I'm a producer. So if you see beats on my channel, I put it there. I record for free, give out free beats, do videos for people for free. That's the little I can do to empower people. I kind of see that, okay, fine. They have the talent, but they can't do much. But what are you doing? We need to, Charlie, open your eyes and let's move this continent for it. Because if it not be, we, another one born. We are the people born today. Today I'm being some way. It's not your everyday reaction that you get. I need to empower you as an African too sometimes, Charlie. Yeah, I had a dream like Martin Luther King. But I woke up broke again with no food for fit the king. Need a big size, small crown can fit the king. I used to pray just so I go rich 16. My style's major. My friends dropping out of school. Getting naked 47 from Charles Taylor. I wonder if my people will ever get a savior. When they rip all the possess and act like they did a favor. Yeah. I wonder if my people will ever get the savior when they rip what they possess and act like, act like they did us a favor. This talking to our ministers, our people in power. You get it? They rip, like, what, whatever they have is for mass. It's our money. I'm not saying we should rise up against them or anything, but I'm just saying that as a black leader, you need to also focus on the growth of the continent. You get it? Because it's you and I. They rip us from what for what they have. Then at the end of the day, they come and sit down and act like they did us a favor. When our roads are bad, when our schools are bad. Charlie, let's not even go political in this shit right now. Let's not even go political. But we really need to wake up as a continent. We really need to wake up as a continent, Charlie. A boy. A boy. That boy had to talk like that. You are... Check your neighbor, innocent for the perishing. Every time, man, they go for labor. Remember, story can beat any one of us. Priest raping kids, then confess in front of Holy Cross. No yeah, Lumumba's story can be any one of us. Cause truth be told, the guy did shit. He didn't do anything. He just gave a speech. But there are people in our prisons that ain't done nothing. But they are there because some bigger, higher authorities put them there. Cause someone thinks he's big enough so he can just make get you arrested for you not doing shit and people are spending their lives in prison when they can people who have talents that can move this continent forward are spending their lives wasting it in prison and even our prisons are that bad that they don't do shit there they don't like those people can be put to do like better works and all those things like manufacture th god where do we find ourselves as people man Open your eyes. Cardinal speaking. Open your eyes. Nobody paid yet for the Holocaust. Street niggas never go to church. I'm God on the door to trust. He was my hero from the Congo. Who was crucified so they can steal and get them things that they put up your up in your phone though. Shit you don't know. I guess you're just happy with your wife and your Volvo. I put my fist up for Lumumba. Kwame Nkrumah vibing to some wireless music. Smoke my cigar, man. As I'm jamming to that Lumumba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry for sorry for breaking it. I like the Daddy Lumba part. If you don't know Daddy Lumba, he's a Ghanaian. He's a high life, uh, high life uh, artist. You should you should check him out. Cause Cardinero says you should check him out. So check him out. Cause that's what he smokes to. <laughs> you get it. But before prior to that line, he was talking about why they kill these our uh, black people, our uh, black men, and um, that is most of the time they want our re they still want our resources. So for that matter, they will bring a, some kind of confusion amongst us black and they know us that because of our self-hate and the, I don't I don't say the greed yeah the, but let's face facts the greed we're going to fight against each other and at the end of the day they win and at the end of the day they take the resources take it to their country bring back finished goods and we still buy them expensive thinking that we're rich think Rest in peace, yo, Patricia oh, Lumumba. Yeah, all the heroes that died. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh,
So much pain I can't even digest Through my people in the loop suffering no progress Steady waiting for the harvest Which never came rest in peace I said God bless See when you listen to these tracks yeah When you really listen to the words and you focus on the words and meditate like try to research it and all that i get his pain in writing this because i can feel the pain in the track i can feel the emotions in the track i can feel the spirituality in the track maybe you don't feel it but i'm just telling you that it's there you bad it's painful when you listen to all these things that were done to these people who ain't done shit imagine if it's your family member that ain't done shit you know that ain't done shit but he's being persecuted for something he, like something that doesn't even make sense because someone wants to make self gain self wealth it's really painful as an african to listen to these things not like let's forget about let's forget about the past even in today's world when you look at your politicians what they do with our wealth and then we sit here and suffer <laughs> charlie <laughs> The voice is not, it not be me alone, it be you than me. But that's why I told you that this channel is not for me alone, it's for you and I. That's the reason why behind the bars, we focus on the bars, not just the song, you get it. We focus on what the person is talking about. Charlie, hit the subscribe button, share this video, let people hear the sense in this video. Let people hear this, like it. Charlie, let's move on. But trees stood for the people, they did good for the people. Look what they did to Steven Pico. Hey yo, man of it for living legal, all my people struggling, still we leave poor. Political anarchy destroying the economy, modern day robbery, still stuck in poverty. Yes. Yeah. Like what I just talked about, like what I just spoke about, sorry. Like I said, Charlie, one thing, if we buy, just laugh about it. What I just spoke about, political anarchy destroying the economy self wealth is what they are looking for you get it we need to stop this shit <laughs> i don't even know what to say again because it's like you talk about it but people still go back and still follow these politicians and all that what do we gain from that what have we ever gained from that ask yourself that question how old are you what have you gained from anything political in this con in, in this continent I don't, just, I don't just talk about my, 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 my country. It's Africa. So what, what have you gained? Nothing. Nothing. He died because he gave a speech. Still wondering why every day we still face the fix. Huh? Why every day all our people still just face the fix? Yeah. And as you know, she boycott no beats. Sorry for today's reaction. Probably it's been a little bit emotional. You get it? Cause it's really sad. It's it gets to me when I see this thing. When I see people suffer in this continent, people without shelter. Probably you've not walked through the roads at night to see people without shelter, people trading their bodies and all that, Charlie, just to get something to eat. You get it. You've probably not tried it, but you one day try it. You get it. One day just try going on the streets, look for the homeless people and just interact with them. See, it's just because they give respect to the law. You get it. Anybody can just stand up and just start some riots. But it's just because of law. That's the reason why people are shut like quiet. But if we don't get up and talk about this, it can escalate into something else and it's not going to benefit you and I. You bab. Sierra Leone, you have you've had your share of war and all that. Probably Ghana, we've not had our share of that. So we don't they may, probably will not understand what, what I'm talking about or what Cardinero is talking about. But we need to open our eyes as Africans and rise up and Charlie. Makes make this continent work. Peace out, Charlie. Enough of my rants. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel. Like it, share, like I said. And if they're busy for our side, I know what to tell them. I mean, fresh, but fuck it. We're out of here till the next one. Peace.